like to invite Sachiko Muta, who is the chairman of OFE, uh, to, let's say, share some conclusions from today and some highlights that you can discuss during the, the next two hours, I think, and drink faster. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Paula. And it's great to have the, the microphone at the, the right level, yeah, to start. Um, so, um, five minutes, you said, yeah? Okay. So, um, looking at my notes for this closing remarks, I already know that I'm not going to top the 10 billion euro moment. So, all I can do is to, you know, do what is customary is to, and to sort of promise to be brief and then talk until Paula kicks me off the stage. <laughs> so, uh, but really, um, thank you for staying, you know, pretty full room uh, at the end of the day. And maybe that was because we put the money question at the end, so that was a smart move. Um, I think we're all ready to move on to the drinks and to squeeze out a little bit more networking. Uh, there's never enough time for networking. Um, uh, and I think especially uh, the OFE team, I know that you can't wait for this day to be over. Um, I have the privilege these days of just flying in, um, enjoying drinks, dinner, and nice conversations. But I, I do remember what it's like to organize an event like this and sort of worry about the logistics, you know, um, the sound, the camera, the missing speakers, everything like that. So um, I'm not going to drag this on for too long, um, but at the same time, uh, I can't resist uh, sort of uh, having this uh, opportunity to have the last word also on this business about it being um, our 10th summit. Um, I think uh, indeed we've been going on for longer than that. Graham already alluded to that and I should know because I met my husband um, at the first OFE summit in 2008. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, sitting over there. Um, all right, however, uh, it is, uh, as Aster pointed out to me, it, it, it is 10 years ago since we organized the first summit and have it sort of uh, take place the day before the FOSTEM uh, meeting. And I think this is uh, significant and worth sort of marking uh, this occasion. Um, and I think it also allows me to segue um, a little bit into sort of um, tying back to uh, some of the, the, the big themes that Astor um, uh, introduced at the beginning and that has also been repeated by some of the speakers. Um, when we decided to move um, our event to the day before FOSTEM 10 years ago, um, I think we this decision to, to, to have our event on the day before the biggest um, open source conference in Europe, that was significant. And um, looking at it from, from the perspective now, I think this was an action of moving the policy community closer to the open source uh, developer community. And um, I think many of you uh, in this room also were at the European Commission workshop that was organized yesterday here in Brussels. And I think that's also a workshop that's been held, I think, uh, previously in December. And there was a decision to move it to, to the Thursday before FOSDEM. And I think uh, there's also um, an intention to keep having it at that time. Sort of making this into um, uh, a Brussels open source week, actually. And um, that... Uh, gives us an, uh, an opportunity, I think, moving forward. It is a, a sort of tangible um, evidence of that there is a willingness of the two communities, the policy community, the open source community, to sort of to, to move closer together and to start to have um, conversations about how we can uh, leverage open source for building an autonomous, resilient, uh, competitive European economy and also go beyond this, hopefully. Uh, and so um, that's sort of being the, the optimist, uh, I think. Um, we heard calls today that we need to uh, up the game uh, of open source engagement and policy. Um, and it was just repeated here on stage by Paul Keller, I think. Um, I take some of that on board and I, I agree that, you know, we should in 2024 
try to sort of uh, capitalize on the energy that came uh, from the CRA discussions and the involvement of the open source community um, and, and sort of see what we can do in 2024 um, to, to bring that energy into it, but to mature the, that engagement. And uh, Paul, you mentioned, you know, uh, some of the uh, areas where we can be less reactive, uh, some of the areas that are more predictable. Um, and that includes, uh, you know, the European Commission as also a funder of, um, of, of projects where open source plays a big role. So um, I think uh, we have, uh, Paula, you said to me that you're going to mention some of the events coming up and then <laughs> you didn't do that. So, uh, yes, you're going to, you are going to do it? Okay. Um, I was going to close up by saying, you know, I'm looking forward to welcoming you back here next week, next year, at the next summit, but also that, you know, there are opportunities to, to stay engaged in those um, conversations where I think the agenda has been set today. Those conversations should continue in the right, uh, in the right venue, in the right, you know, with the right audiences. Um, and I hope that we can, uh, you know, when we're here next year, that we have moved some of those conversations along and that we can sort of uh, reflect back on, on what we have achieved, um, you know, collectively in that year. So, with a final thank you to the sponsors, speakers, or is that your uh, thing, Paula? Okay, well, thank you. Uh, I'll hand over for a final word from Paula. Yeah. Will you also uh, call out uh, the team? Yes, Jacob, yes, yes. Okay. yes. Thank you, Sachiko. Your role was to, you know, provide Warm the broad for, concept. <laughs> I have some practical announcements that I have to, I have to say because my team is uh, really on me. But first, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Again, the interest was more than twofold of what we were able to actually have here in this room. So again, we will try to find a bigger venue. Um, I know that many of you are going to FOS them. Enjoy that. Uh, our team, of course, will be there, and I can for sure recommend the public code and the DPGA dev room and the open source in the European legislative landscape dev room. These are the ones that are the most policy, but of course, there's plenty of very interesting ones. I would like to say thank you to the audience on site. Thank you to the audience online. Thank you for your amazing energy. Thank you to the speakers who sometimes disagreed on stage, and I think that's great. I always say that when we have our prep calls, it's perfectly fine if you disagree. We want to hear your ideas and we want to have something to talk about. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to our partners and friends. As you know, some of, uh, some of these people were involved with us for 10, 20 years. Uh, and I hope we will have 10, 20 years more, but maybe we will need it a bit less because it will be so ubiquitous and so well taken care of that we will not have so many challenges. Um, I would like to really thank the OFE team. Uh, great job, guys. I also showed up a little bit. The big heavy lift was taken by my team. I was just happily announcing the speakers. Uh, a special thank you to my colleague, Jaku Karho, who really, really put a lot of effort into that, provided all these beautiful things, all these beautiful backdrops. It will be actually a photo booth downstairs, so we can take some nice pictures. Uh, I always take some uh, funny quotes from the, from the summit, and last year it was, uh, open source is generally good. We all just agreed that, okay, it's generally good. And I feel like that's a big development from last year because some of the quotes that I have from now is, uh, are about collaboration, or about how do we make it work, or about money, or the 10 billion, or the 8.8 .8 trillion. These are the things that we are talking about. So the maturity in one year is really big. Uh, before that, we will send you quite some things after the summit, including a little feedback. So please think of the things that we can improve or suggestions for the next, for the next event. We will send you some information about our upcoming events. The next one is on 4 April, and it's in Brussels, and it's under auspices of the Belgian presidency. Then we have the event in New York with the UN on 8, 9 July. I also very much invite you in there. Uh, and of course, join us at the summit 2025. Um, the 9 and 10. I'm sorry for misinformation. 9 and 10. It will be correct in the email. Very good. Um, in practicalities, please make sure to leave your badge when you leave. 
these are, you know, the, the funny magnetic badges. We do collect them and reuse them next year. And one more for the speakers who have left their stuff in the speakers room. Please take it because uh, my colleague Axel, who is there guarding it, would like to join us for drinks. Um, <laughs> And at this point, that's it. I had a much longer speech, but let's just have a drink and we'll send you everything and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much. <laughs>